Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Dear everyone, at last, the moment seemed to have arrived. This video is going to cover a lot of ground, and you guys are going to love it. Sure, let's leave. In the last day, XRP has been steadily rising, according to Ralph 51. The sole cryptocurrency in circulation, XRP. Hey, have you seen the XRP guys? As we mentioned before, XRP often goes silent for a while, before unexpectedly surging, right? Exploding. Do you know what happens every time with XRP? If you're already inside, no one else will be able to get in, will they? If I were you, I wouldn't be too concerned, because this isn't a financial way. If only it lasts the whole season, that would be great. Also, I'm hoping it arrives soon, like, maybe in the summer, because I really believe it will. While everyone else says, hold on a second, we will undoubtedly figure out how to crack the code for each location's assistance. However, I will reserve all that information for the upcoming video, since I am quite excited. First things first, what's the matter? Because the XRP community now has your third type of XRP, dudes. I must say, I find this really intriguing. This is boring. Exactly how much XRP did Satoshi actually own? David Schwartz, did you really mention that and no one paid attention? The distribution of Bitcoin was incredibly difficult to ascertain back then. It is quite likely that the original developer, Satoshi, had a substantial amount of XRP on hand during that period. Then, what is his current holding? Given that Satoshi is either a single person or a group, it stands to reason that they own XRP. There might be more than one. The government or the National Security Agency, NSA, are among those who have deduced that there is more than one culprit. Why should you be concerned if they are in possession of XRP? So, what exactly was David Shore's question? So intriguing, you guys? The narrative is very lovely. Examine this code. If you're looking for an alternative to Bitcoin, you could use XRP for a lot of the same things, correct? This Bitcoin is superior. It's a payment method, isn't it? For the simple reason that there is a great deal of liquidity. For banks to transfer funds around, that's intriguing once again, isn't it? What we mean when we say that XRP will likely have set pricing is that they move a lot of money. Assuming XRP reaches its current price of, say, $50, more global money transfers will be possible. It appears that things have changed significantly since the 1990s, haven't they? The world is about to be swept away by ripples. The most exquisite tweet I have ever seen is about to appear. Dudes from David Joel, where is that panda when we need him? Cat Schwartz, too. Keep in mind, dudes, he enjoys dropping hints. And here is reportedly his first post, okay, it's not really, but it's close. Indeed, he did tweet a handful of times in the past, all referring to specific figures, approximately five or nine times in all. However, folks, he simply listed the quantities and pricing of specific beverages and other items on the right side of the page. Check out those six euros and fifty cents, everyone. However, if you descend to this level, you can see that six dollars and fifty cents is a Fibonacci level, and the aim is 1.618. Hold just a second. David Schwartz just revealed the target. Hold for a second, this could be in dollars or euros, right? The $6.50 mark is a Fibonacci retracement level, folks. Wait a second, are I supposed to speak? Is my understanding of this correct? Man, that's a Fibonacci target of 1.618. Impressive, dude. The odds are what? Am I correct? Will this add another piece to the puzzle, allowing us to reach new Ultima Heights? Guys, I apologize, but I am not selling out for one dollar. Who needs sacrificial guys, when someone else can bring up the topic of where the panda is when we need him? Excuse me? Which pan is the one he's referring to? It was manageable, coming from reverse. This guy absolutely crushed you. It was just confirmed. What gives with his discussion on pandas? Okay, fellas? Wow, this is really fascinating. 
Guys, I'm confused. The initial costs for lunar data are as follows. At least I hope so. At least I hope so. Frankly, I couldn't be more thrilled. Remember that Mr. Poole did say that the Phoenix will rise 627, and that it should have started today. However, the way the Phoenix really rises, gentlemen, is by this, and the case must conclude. We need to wrap up this case. Am I correct? To begin with, it is the primary initiator. You guys know that XRP isn't a security and has been declared so before, correct? This must be the second one, I suppose. But in all honesty, this is the first, and it signifies that the cloud will be lifted entirely from the heads of Ripple, DEX, PL, and XRP. Am I correct? Not good. The case might end after 620 points were made. Am I correct? Some sort of agreement came from God. If we're talking about fines, the judge may announce a predetermined amount. The 620 summer solstice is a delta that lasts for three years, you guys. That would go hand in hand, wouldn't it? I wish it were the case. We know there will be a settlement, and I am praying for all of you. Sure, dudes. You can bet that there will be payouts, because this was big short T. And on June 1st, this was tweeted. Everything that transpired with the case between then and now is visible to us. The SEC isn't asking for a penalty of one, oh, two million dollars, it's arguing that, even when applying Ripple reasoning to the terror settlements, the punishment should be 102 million dollars. This is really intriguing, you people. In addition to myself, what are the possibilities? 100 million, please. At least I hope so. Behold, the lawsuit is nearing its conclusion. Dude, I'm so anxious I can't even breathe. Unbeknownst to me, Justin watches as the head of the Crypto Asset Enforcement Division steps down. He has left. It seems like the rats are running for cover. Why, dudes? Am I correct? They are aware that they are finished for check this out. It's all winding down to a lovely conclusion, everyone. So, how far along the road has he been? Three years and some change. Just 3.3 years, okay? Three and a half years ago, he spearheaded investigations against Ripple, Coinbase, and Binance while employed by the SEC. Hey, take a look at that. Right now, it's SEC on ropes, and if Ripple sets it, it's prepared to pay a fine of up to 10 million. This claim was reduced from $2 billion to somewhat around $103 million by the SEC, correct? Wow, I can't quite put my finger on it. 1. The total came to, I don't know, maybe $102.6 million, guys? All things considered, 1.3, 13, and then there are 3, 6, aren't there? Isn't that a 9? Those are the 9 faces, that's the number 19. What do you think? I mean, this is how I know the case is already a freaking show. And by the way, I left SCC on Friday after nearly nine years, you guys. Therefore, these individuals are quitting because they are aware that their time has arrived. The video will use that. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy it. Coming up shortly, farewell.